back for a new clean with me. Today I wanted to do a giveaway. We just hit 160,000 subscribers, which is amazing. It's insane. I wanted to give back. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway for two winners and I wanted to give each of you a $25 Target gift card. I thought you could put together your faves. So information will be down below for the giveaway. I wanted to keep it really simple, but I wanted to give back. I love you guys. So that's a fun part of the video as well as I wanted to add a fun twist. I was watching a video from Jesse from Keep Calm and Clean On. It came up in my suggested feed and I love her, loved her experiment, but I wanted to try this experiment in my own home. We've got swabs, we've got pipettes. This is a legit science experiment here. And I'm gonna be testing out seven different cleaners, including my natural like homemade version, which is water, vinegar, and essential oils. So we're gonna see how everything stacks up and it's gonna be a 72 hour test. So we're gonna be swabbing today and then I will reveal the results at the end. So without further ado, we're gonna do a little bit of like basic tidying and cleaning up because we've just been dumping stuff. It's been wild. So we're gonna clean up and then we're gonna start swabbing and you guys can see how we're gonna test this and all the cleaners we're doing.
you guys we've got a clean working station and I've gotten everything out that we need for our experiment so we have our agar plates these are basically like a growing medium if you've ever done like microbiology or anything like that you would know what these are all about let me give you just a little close-up of one so whatever bacteria you put on there it's just gonna grow it for you I'm sure you guys are curious which ones we're doing so I found these new at Target the other day these are the Clorox compostable cleaning wipes it doesn't claim anything like their original wipes it's not like kills 99.9% .9 of germs or anything like that and that's what I wanted to stick to for all the cleaners that we're using nothing that's like a known you know like bleach or Lysol or something like that but things that we would generally use to clean tables and you know all of those things in the home so we've got our Clorox compostable wipes we've got the method anti-back I'm really curious about this one because so many people use it for bathrooms we have got my hydrogen peroxide cleaner so I'll leave the ingredients down below um, for this one and the concentrations it's basically just water peroxide and lemon essential oil so I've got my Grove oil there Pretty much all of these you could find on Grove or at Target. And then I've got the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. Everybody seems to love the grapefruit scent. I think this is my first time actually trying it. <laughs> uh, and then also this is the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Cleaner. And this is the Compassion Flower. So it's the Grove exclusive scent. I've also got Boulder Clean. It's a more natural cleaner. And this is the one that I use on our stainless steel. So we're going to see how this guy does. And then the last one, so number seven, this is a vinegar cleaner. So again, I'll leave the ingredients for that. Basically, it's water, vinegar, and then I've got melaleuca or tea tree essential oil. So in a second here, we're actually going to be collecting our bacteria. So I've got swabs here. And something that I wanted to do that was a little bit different than how she did her test is I want to take all of these swabs out and put them together to collect the bacteria so that everything will have an equal amount of the same bacteria possible to grow. They also include some saline solution so we can use that so that the swabs will pick up things off of like the light fixture or, you know, the sink, all of that. Um, I also grabbed some gauze pads, so this is something a little different too. Since I'm usually cleaning with, you know, a rag, I'm actually going to be wiping the bacteria off in one area. So I'm just going to do like a back and forth motion, probably back and forth twice. And I'll do that with a sterile gauze pad so that, you know, if I had any towels, they might have bacteria already on them. So I want to keep this legit. <laughs> so I'm going to be using these to do our test and then I'm also going to take one drop of each cleaner and I'm just going to put it in the bottom just in one spot. I'm going to do it the same in all the plates to see what just without any kind of rubbing or um, you know using a towel what it would do just if it was sprayed on. 
So that's how I'm gonna do it. I am gonna be incubating these, just letting them stay in a warm room for 72 hours, but I'm gonna be giving you guys the update at the end of the video. So that's gonna show us what these products will do with our typical home bacteria. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get these open. Let's get them into our cup and let's start collecting some nasty germs. Now we're going to be going from least dirty to most dirty here. So we're going to start out with, let's do a light fixture. So I'm just going to swab these all over. Also, I'm going to be like rotating them around. So they're all going to be, you know, like collecting the same amount of everything. Um, let's do a doorknob. Okay, I also wanted to do a swab here in the bottom of our sink, and I'm gonna do the toilet, like the kids' toilet, the back of it, and then the last one is we're gonna actually spit in the cup so that there is like germy germs in there. So, okay, let's do the sink. Let's get the kids' sink too. Perfect. Oh man, these are gonna be disgusting. All right, so this is what we're kind of looking like so far. I've been rotating them around as I go and then trying to like flatten them out. So, ew, let's go to the toilet. <laughs> All right, you guys, last thing, I'm gonna spit in the cup. Okay, we've got spit. So now I'm just gonna swirl these guys around and we'll do some swabbing. Make sure everybody's coated. This is disgusting, ew. <laughs> It's time to get real, you guys. All the swabs, as you can see, look about the same and they're pretty saturated. But we're just gonna do one per plate. And I'm just spinning this as I go around. Well, you can see it's been a while since I've been in the classroom because I just totally poked right through there. But I think it's gonna be just fine.
can forget about what's wrong Let it all out of me for the bacteria that is going to grow in these little petri dishes but I think it's important like I think we should know what we're up against and like what products are going to work well on the types of germs that we're trying to fight well I don't know about you guys but I am incredibly curious as to what is going to happen with these plates I'm going to leave these for 72 hours to let the bacteria like do its thing I'm going to keep it warm so it's going to be in our house um, just growing and we will check back. I do think this would be a really interesting experiment if we did specific bacteria, like all sink bacteria um, in separate ones and then tested certain cleaners against that. So everyone would be like a different cleaner, but it would only be one type. But I'm very excited to see how these will do. So we're gonna do some more cleaning today and at the end, you guys are gonna get an update after 72 hours and we will see who Rain supreme. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get back to cleaning. Not just for the season, is what I feel. I don't need a better reason. You broke your heart and come use mine. My love will last, they'll stand the test of time. Oh, oh. It'll stand the test of time. Test of time. Fun. 
drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me picked up from the floor. I just had a couple piles to sort. Um, I actually had some leftover party supplies from a baby shower that I went to the previous day and a couple things that I picked up for Kaylee's party. We're going to be doing a little girl's like bunny party at my house in a couple weeks and so I had picked up some supplies for that and I am going to be turning it into a video for you guys so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be like totally decorating the place and making little bunny treats and all of that stuff so I'm going to turn it into a video and I also picked up some candles. I have run out of my candles, like all of my homemade ones, and so I repurchased some for the house. When I'm not making the candles myself, I do still like to get natural ones. This trio here I picked up on Grove Collaborative. I found a really good deal on them, so I just restocked and put these through the house. Um, I also had a bouquet of flowers that I had put together for a friend's baby shower, and since the whole room was cleaned up and I just felt like it was looking great in here. I remember that I had that downstairs, so I decided to bring it upstairs and to put it in this little canning jar that I've got. I thought it would look so cute. I just have a soft spot for flowers. Well, you guys, I know I said I was gonna update on the cleaners and how they did at the end of the video. However, 48 hours in, I took a little sneak peek and I wanted to insert that clip here. We are 48 hours in, and I just pulled these out from under the couch there, which is where I've been keeping these. The suspense is literally killing me, so I wanted to do just a little sneak peek of what is going on, because there is a lot going on in these trays. We're gonna do our final reveal at the end, but I just couldn't help but show you guys what I just saw. So upon first glance, it doesn't look like there's very much going on, right? Well, look at this. Do you see? What is growing in this plate? All of those little like bumps and everything. So the top is where we've got this line. So I'm just gonna line it up top to bottom and I'm actually gonna open this one. So I haven't opened any of these yet until now. Oh my gosh, ew. You can kind of see at the top here like where I wiped it along this way where it's a little bit removed but honestly, if, if you're looking at the bottom, I can't really see where we have the drop of the cleaner. So that was the method all purpose. I was starting to get a little afraid because I just have these sitting like in room temperature and you know, like in my house, I don't see bacteria like this growing, but we definitely have stuff growing. So now this one is the DIY hydrogen peroxide in lemon essential oil. And I can see some definite lack of growth there at the top. Do you guys see that? So you can see where the drop was down here at the bottom and then where I kind of like wiped it here at the top. Yeah, you can see it really did inhibit any bacteria from growing. But look at the bottom of the plate, that's so sick. Okay, well I don't want to do too many spoilers and I also want it to be a little bit of a surprise for myself as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave these a bit longer. So we're going to pull these back out tomorrow which will be a full 72 hours and we will see who cleaned and who didn't. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you could 
couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Go 
Cause I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop But I still think about it all the time I won't stop until it's over, over But I still think about it all the time It's never over till it's over, yeah But I still think about This has got to be the most satisfying clean with me that I have done in a long long time this just feels so nice and sparkly clean everything smells nice and fresh this is all the cleaning though that I'm gonna do for the video now let's fast forward into our 72 hour reveal and I'll show you guys the results of the bacteria tests on all those cleaners are you guys ready for this Ugh, I'm already grossed out okay first off I wanted to show you guys what just a plain one that has not had any bacteria or any testing on it. So you can just see for comparison. Look how yellow this one is. Let's go with that one first because it's so gross. So this was our boulder cleaner and we're gonna go ahead and take off our cover. Again, this was the top and then there's the bottom there. So you can see at the top there where I kind of wiped like the back and forth and then that's where our drip was. I really think that this like facilitated bacteria growth. It did not clean anything. Um, to be fair, this is meant to be like a stainless steel cleaner, but if you are gonna be using this anywhere where you're trying to like deep clean, like you just can't use it as something to clean bacteria. If you're using it in the bathroom or something like that, you just make sure that you clean it with something disinfecting first. Next up, let's go with our Method All-Purpose Cleaner. This is another super common one. Again, we've got our top on the top there. Look how much is all over this plate. You can kind of see where I swiped it up there at the top, and then you really can't even see where the drip was at the bottom. That is a lot of bacteria. So Method All-Purpose Cleaner, I know a lot of people use this like to clean their bathrooms and such. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. No more grapefruit method. Now to be balanced, I do wanna say, like I'm not completely banning these cleaners. I'm not gonna stop using them because we do know that some bacteria is good bacteria, right? But not bathroom bacteria, not like spit and germs and like, you know, your doorknobs. You're gonna wanna actually kill bacteria. So these products here are not gonna be good for that. Next up, let's look at our Clorox cleaning wipes. This one looks about the same as those other two. You can see where it got wiped up here, but again, the dot, like the drip, you can't even see it. So this might be nice for cleaning up, you know, little messes on the counter of like food, um, but not good for any sort of germy, virus, danger, bacteria. So especially this one, it's just so yellow. Let's go with one that is more obvious. This one, the Method Anti-Back. This, you guys, did its thing. Look at how obvious that is, where I wiped and even where the spot went of the cleaner. So Method Anti-Back, this, you guys, would be excellent for the bathrooms. This one is excellent for, you know, like the bottom of the sink where everybody's washing their germy hands. This one is good for bacteria killing. And I will note there is like a, I wanna say like a mold or fungus spot right there. Um, and I do think like, I didn't see these in our 48 hour test. So I do think the longer you incubate it, the more chance of like fungus and mold that you're gonna get. Would be really interesting to do these for longer and see how they do with mold and fungus too. Okay, let's go to, let's go to one of our natural cleaners. This is fascinating. I really was curious how these would do. So vinegar and tea tree essential oil mixed with water. This actually did surprisingly well. You can see where I rubbed it there and then the drip. I mean, not quite as good as the anti-back, but vinegar and water actually did better than like the Method All-Purpose Cleaner, which is really surprising to me, seeing as how you can make this for, you know, scents for a whole cleaner. That's amazing, that is so good to know. I think what we're gonna do is rank these by how they did on the bacteria at the end. And then let's check out our other natural ones. This is the DIY hydrogen peroxide plus lemon. Wow, that got rid of a lot. There does seem to be quite a bit more mold or like fungus in this one. Um, I can't say if that is because it 
made that kind of bacteria grow. I can't tell if that's a coincidence that there's more of like the mold kind of fungusy looking stuff there or not, but you can definitely tell as far as germ and like that kind of growth, the hydrogen peroxide, water, and lemon did its thing. That one is probably the most surprising because that's like a new cleaner that I've just started using recently. That's really exciting. It did, I would say probably like almost as good as the anti -back. I'll probably say it's less effective just because it has those moldy looking things. And then our last one, this is our Mrs. Myers. And how did we do? Eh, it doesn't look real good. It doesn't look good. You can barely see the drip. You can see the wipe, but it's definitely not as good as even our natural, like homemade ones, which are quite a bit less expensive. I think though, that makes sense. It makes sense to me that, you know, like Mrs. Myers, it's more like a nice smell. It's good for dusting, um, but it's not gonna be bacteria killing. It's not something you should use in the bathrooms. It's not for that type of a, of cleaning. If you guys are finding this experiment as fascinating as I am, definitely give it a thumbs up so I'll know to possibly do like some more experiments. Um, but I want to go ahead and I want to lay these out in how I'm going to rate them as most bacteria killing versus least. So this is going to be our least for sure. And then I'm just going to give you guys some final thoughts. All right, so I've got them all laid out in what I would consider the least successful for killing germy bacteria to most successful. So least is here and then we're going around to most successful. So to start off, we've got our boulder. Let's get a little closer. You guys wanna see the good, good growth stuff, right? Boulder. Then we have got our Clorox cleaning wipes. Then next up, we've got our Method All-Purpose, the Grapefruit Cleaner. Next up, this is our Mrs. Myers All-Purpose Cleaner. DIY Vinegar and Tea Tree. You can definitely see those wipes a lot better there versus on the other ones. Like these last three, you can really see the lines there. I'm still so impressed with what a natural cleaner can do. Next is our DIY hydrogen peroxide and lemon. I'm still curious about that fungus situation. It would be kind of interesting to do this same situation, but without the lemon. Like if we did tea tree in this one, or just kind of comparing how those affect it. And then last up, this is our method anti back and you guys I want to say that this one did the best I would love for you guys to answer the poll up on the screen now if you found this interesting or if you think I should do another one of these tests I think it's so cool and maybe I can include just like a miniature version or testing something else in my next clean with me you guys let me know without further ado give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe you guys and we will see you soon bye guys